taking a break for self-compassion. Life has an incredible opportunity to break you down. And so taking a break from all of the judgments and the perceptions and the false beliefs and the ridicule and finding just a deep sense of peace and self-compassion is an excellent way to reclaim your power in the midst of the stress and the insanity. This is something that you can do anytime during the day or even during the night when you need just a little bit of self-compassion. So to practice this particular exercise, we're actually gonna to need to connect with a little bit of suffering. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Why would I wanna do that? We wanna do that so we, we put it on the court. We're able to play the game of self-compassion. Everyone can be compassionate when they're feeling great, but it's really in those darkest moments that you can conjure up the energy to take a break for self-compassion. I'd like to invite you to think about a situation in your life going on right now that's difficult for you. Maybe you're feeling stressed, having a relationship issue, worried about something that may happen, a financial concern, or otherwise. I'd like to invite you to think of something that's difficult, but not overwhelmingly difficult. We don't want this to be something that's um, you know, overwhelming to the point that you can't even function, right? but it should be something that provides a little bit of friction. Especially if you're new to shifting your state, we wanna find a situation that you can get in touch with that it's got a little bit of resistance and tension on it, but it's not gonna create you know, too much chaos or confusion. So simply get in touch with it. Connect with it in your body. What's going on? What happened? What might happen? Who said what? Really bring this situation to life in your mind's eye. I'm then gonna start saying a series of phrases that are designed to help us to remember the three components of self-compassion. This is simply important when we need this the most, especially in the time and space that we find ourselves in. So the first phrase is, this is a moment of suffering, right? This is a moment of suffering. We're bringing mindful awareness to the fact that suffering is in the present. And I'd like for you to find some language that speaks to you. Something like, you know, this is really hard right now, or I'm really struggling. We're going to actually turn towards our difficulty, our friction. We're going to acknowledge it. We're going to name it. This is a moment of fill in the blank. Grief, sadness, frustration, suffering, etc. The next phrase is suffering is a part of life. Okay. We're reminding ourselves of our common humanity. Suffering is a part of life. And again, finding that language that speaks to you. It may be something like, it's not abnormal to feel this way, or 
Many people are going through similar situations, right? The degree of suffering may be different. The flavor of suffering may be different, but the suffering in its true form is a part of life and a part of the human experience. Now, the third phrase is, may I be kind to myself in this moment? And in an effort to support bringing kindness to yourself, I'd like to invite you to put your hand over your heart or some other place on your body if that feels more comfortable. You want this place to feel soothing and comforting. You want the feeling of warmth of your hands and the gentle touch to produce a feeling of soothing. Let these feelings of care, compassion, love, just stream right through your fingers and say to yourself, may I be kind to myself. By using any language that supports that sense of kindness, perhaps language you could use with a good friend you cared about who's going through a similar situation. It may be something like, I'm here for you. It's going to be okay. I care about you. You can even try using a more diminutive term, like if that feels comfortable, you know, or, oh darling, I'm so sorry, or you can try calling yourself by your first name, whatever feels natural to express this deep wish that you may have to be well, to be happy, to be free. Now begin to let go of the practice and notice how your body feels allowing any sensations to be just as they are. Allowing yourself to be just as you are. Because it's all simply perfect.